if your app is not receiving one signal notification in android 13 or above devices you are at the right video guys in this video i'll walk you through the process of requesting the runtime post notification permission on android 13 or higher so without any further ado let's get started all right as you can see i have opened our last one signal project so before you implement this in your existing code make sure your app's target and compile sdk version is 33 or above so first and foremost open build.gradle of the module level here first i will change this target sdk to 33 then compile sdk 33 also Well, now we will open the manifest file. Here add the post notification permission. So angle bracket, uses permission, mm, post notification, hit tab, perfect. Now in our main activity we will request for this post notification permission, simple. So inside this on create method. First we will check for the device SDK version which is greater than or equal to 13 or not. Build dot version dot SDK int greater than equal to build dot version codes dot tiramisu. That means the API level is 33. In this condition only, we will request for permission, otherwise we don't. You might have seen in our previous videos that one signal notification was working seamlessly even in Android 12. But since Android 13 was introduced, we need to ask for user permission, whether they are interested in sending and receiving notifications or not. Anyway, here let's type mm, request permissions. Now we will pass our notification permission as a list of a string and an integer type value as a request code that will be used to identify our specific permission in on request permission result. I hope you know all these. If not, don't worry, it will be clear to you soon. So for now just repeat after me. Anyway, let's type new string then curly braces. Now inside curly braces, type manifest dot permission dot post notifications. Now pass any int number, for example, 99. Or we can store this value in a constant value. Mm, let's say rc underscore notification. Now press ALT ENTER, create constant field and type 99, much better and easy to memorize. And more importantly, this is what best practice is. Now outside of on create, let's override on request permission result method, just like this. Finally in this method we will check if request code is equal to rc notification let's also check for the permission is granted or not so if grant results square bracket because it's an array now pass zero then equal to package manager dot permission granted here we can perform our task for the allowed state but for now we will print a log message or toast message so toast this is for allowed Let's create the else part also. 
first this section will execute only when the user presses the don't allow button and this is it guys now let's build and run this code on an android 13 device As you can see guys, a dialog popped up as soon as the application launched. Now simply press allow. Now we can uh, receive one signal notifications on our Android 13 devices or above. But I'm not gonna show you how to send notifications from the one signal dashboard. Instead I'm leaving this testing step up to you. With that said. Thank you so much for watching guys and spending some time with me here on the daily coding tutorial channel. If you found this video helped you, hit the like button. If you have any queries or suggestions, please drop them in the comment section. Also remember to subscribe if you don't want to miss any upcoming content.